Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. It is time that we're gonna get some more money, some more pilots and some more mechs because the year 3028 is about to come around the corner and I'm really eager to see where we are going with that. So I'd say we're gonna take a look at our battle mechs. They look good. All right, look has been taken and we could basically play the beach hat here or we go over here because there's a war zone and a raid and they are way more fun to play. So let's Let's go ahead and do exactly that. Let's do it, guys. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, I really do like my Warzone missions. They are really cool because, you know, enemies come to you. You don't have to go anywhere. You just stay at the base and uh, you just crush all of them beneath your feet. Maybe I should go for a little bit more melee. And there... Wasn't there a cantina here? No, wait, it was here. No, wait, what? Wait a second, nothing is here anymore? What is going on? I was pretty sure there was something going on here. What? Alright. I mean, fine. I'm gonna go there and we play the raid, I guess? <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, the, the mission's just vanished. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so, um... Yeah, what I wanted to say is warzones are fun because, you know, they are, the enemies are coming to you and you can just blast them. And I think I want to go for a little bit more melee, therefore I probably take the Kentaro out for a spin again. Gotta kill some panthers and uh, some locusts. That's okay. I'm not gonna do any of that right now because the rewards don't look that great. We have a light rifle, we have a machine gun and uh, some stuff here. Although people said that light rifles are actually not that bad if they are high tier. So... Hmm. I'm gonna turn in my Jenner now. I think that's what we do. We will strip it beforehand. Yes, thank you very much. All right. So, turn in the Jenner. Get the get a flamer. It's a pretty good flamer as well. All right. So we have a slot open. Thank you very much. And we now want to possibly get that light rifle. We'll see if that works. All right. So, let's go and play the contract, shall we? I'm gonna play Objective Raid. Let's see what that is. Get 18 salvage. It's not much, honestly. How much money do we get out of this? Oh, the economy is so broken. I think this is way more outcome than what we get when we go for salvage here. It's just so crazy. All right, I'll play it like that. So. And as I was saying, I think I want to play some... Do we want to play the Thunderbolt? I think I want to. Seven days? Sure. Let's go, guys. Let's bring the T-Bolt to the table. I want to see what it can do with its uh, large laser, three medium lasers, and then LRM-10 and then LRM-15. That's... No. LRM-10 and then LRM-5. That gets you a 15 total. That's what I mean. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's do it. I like the Thunderbolt here specifically because we're playing Raid and it's good to just destroy the objectives at range, you know. Also, we have hands. That's beautiful. Cool. Where do we go? Like, right to this area. And I quickly need to set up more weapon groups. Let me go ahead and do that. This is fine. And I think I need... A chain fire group for the medium lasers. I mean, why not? Here we go. Cool. So. We can see this, but we don't have any things on the sensors. Interesting. Should we drop here? I think we do. Let's go. Let's go close. I don't know if my friends can actually oof, follow up. But I just want to get into the fight. So let's see. Got the mediums, got my large laser. Heat is building up quite nicely as well. And those are the hands. Let's do it, guys. So, whenever there's something coming close, I'm gonna give him hell with my hands. Uh-huh. That was weird. Why did we shoot and punch at the same time when I pressed my mouse button 4? Ah. That's why. Alright. We didn't really punch there. That was something that the tree made happen. And that's my missiles. All right, perfect. Target. We also got a heavy mech on the horizon. It's a rifleman. 
So right now, the Rifleman is not able to shoot me, really. Also, big explosions behind him. Crazy. But I have locks on him. Can soften him up. My people are actually making it. Oh, that's so cool. That is so damn cool. That's a blackjack as well. Not really eager to go for them early, but right now I have no better target. And I'm gonna pull back for Mr. Uh, Light Mech to go into my... my oh God, my, I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. Uh, this guy is supposed to attack my friends. It was a Jenner, by the way. All right, so we soften all of these guys a little bit. Ooh, maybe headshotting him would be a good idea. I mean, not that we get him or anything, but it's a quick kill. That's good. Now it's the Blackjack. It's the next more dangerous target on the board. I like the Thunderbolt for its chill attitude. It's not the, f it's not like a like a bursty explosive mag. It's more a mag that just stays in the second line and just shoots continuously. It's beautiful. There we go. So, what's left? We got some turrets. I think we got a Jenna somewhere. There it is. Kapow! Ah, oh, come on, let's do it. Let's go point blank and have some fun with melee. Ugh. Problem here that I see is that sometimes you don't really get vision because of the major explosions that are happening. I don't know if it's new or if it's always been the case. But more often than not, my vision is completely obstructed, which is not nice. So, was that it? Was that our raid? Do we just go over there? And then we win? Let's take it out quickly. Got him. Easy. And we got another Cantina mission done. That's perfect. Yeah, again, t bolts they are just fun. I love them because of what you can do with them. You have a lot of different options uh, in terms of builds. It's decently fast, so 64 kph gets you into most fights quite quickly. And you can either go with a mid-range approach like I'm doing here, or you can even load SRM into this guy and just go nuts with medium or even large lasers or pulse lasers or whatever. Let's destroy this real quick. Got him. Got him. And then just the warehouse and we're out of here, right? I have the feeling, by the way, that there's something coming afterwards. Target destroyed. Where's the dropship? That was a great showing, Commander. Our Where's... Will not be our dropship, but the enemy's dropship. Now get back to the dropship. Really? ASAP. I mean, I don't mind an easy mission, but... What? Come on, where is... Where's the big forces that are attacking us now? Where's the challenge? And honestly... I'm pretty happy that I negotiated for money instead of salvage here. Because salvage would have gotten us nothing. But okay. Let's get out of here. Good news is we can play another mission. Or maybe even two after this. There is a mech. What's that? A Vindicator right beneath our dropship. What are you doing, here, buddy? I don't want to put up with you. So I'm gonna just go home, okay? Yeah, have fun. You are too late. <laughs> I don't know. Sudden, sudden vindicator in the house here. Try to vindicate. No, it's not gonna happen. All right, that was good. So we're gonna take some salvage. Only three parts here, but whatever. And then we're gonna go to another planet and just get more stuff. At some point, I think I need to really go for another big marketplace and see if I can pick up another heavy mech of some sort. Also, we got an auto cannon 20? Tier 2? I'll take it. Rifleman was on the table, but even if we negotiated for salvage, we wouldn't have gotten it. So, actually, this is good. I'm gonna pick the medium laser tier trash so we can finish our cantina mission. Yup. Beautiful. This is looking good already. Yeah, uh, we killed some Igors as well, and then we can pick up, kill missile carrier, sure, collect jump jets, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Four jump jets, tier two, we have two already, and there might be a market where we can get more. This is so easy, I'm the best player in the world. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. So, um, quick repair. Nothing really happened. We didn't really get major damage. So that's really nice. And since we have the Thunderbolt ready now, I think we go back to the heavier area. Like, yeah, we are right in right now in the 5 to 8 difficulty. This is a 7 to 10. I think I want to play this Warzone and Assassination here. Let's do it. And I'm going to negotiate for Salvage so we can possibly get more heavies. And the last time we were playing missions here on this planet, we actually saw a Sold Max. So this could be a way to get a little bit of weight on our lands. We got still the mediums. That's good. I mean, we can actually play those lower tier missions with the tonnage limitation quite easily. But if we want to, we can bring the big bad boys. So, battle mechs are basically ready. Let's go ahead and do it. Targeted kill. Ooh, is this one of the new biomes? It's a mega city. We gotta check it out, guys. Hmm. There's no money. There's no salvage in this. I mean, we have to do this. This is amazing. Let's take this lance. I think it is actually quite good. We have me on a, on a rather chill mech that delivers constant DPS. That's damage per second. And then we have our Brawling Kentaro here. We have our Hunchback as fire support. And then there is a quick draw that can also absorb a bit of damage. Uh, actually, that's the Kentaro. That's the quick draw. But anyway, it's good. It's pretty solid. I've never played in a Mega City yet, not even on my Twitch streams. By the way, you should follow me there, link is down below in the description. Hey! If you want to get additional content. Uh, that's additional from here, it's not the same career that we are playing here and on Twitch, it's separate. So that you don't miss out on anything if you don't want to watch the this live streams. This one is a real piece of work. It's no wonder someone wants them dead. They were last spotted at the locations marked on your map. Once the job oh, is done, look at that. Eve at points before those sheltering the target get wind of what we're up to here. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. It's a jungle of concrete and glass and steel. Oh, and everything is full of buildings here. I like it. Yeah, let's destroy it. <laughs> Alright, um, so where to go? Gonna go more to the left side here. Don't want to trigger both bases at the same time. That would be a bit too much. That's cool as hell. Well done on the biome. I really do like that. Target. Target is in the field, Commander. All right. It's an Orion. Of course, missiles are actually getting caught on the buildings. Right now, we're gonna take it slow and just soften them up with our long range. I think we need to change target at this point. Yeah, we're gonna go all on the champion. Although, the Rifleman is maybe the better target. It certainly is. It's actually easier to destroy and brings more firepower. Alright, Rifleman. I'm gonna take you. It's treasure as well. Nice. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Oh my god, that's a hell lot of mechs. Come on! Ah, whatever. There we go. So, there's a lot of stuff happening here at the same time. Also treasure, but we're gonna care about the treasure later if I don't forget about it. And next up is the Orion since he's already so damaged. Oh my god, Kintaro is getting blasted. Oh no. Why? Yeah, Santiago is down. What? Santiago, don't die. Well then. We got some backstabbers here. Come at me, bro. I got hands. Oh, yeah, you didn't prepare for that, huh? I'm gonna go for the missile boat. I'm gonna get him. Ooh, the, the buildings. Look at that. Nice. I'm completely messing up here. That's so cool. I like that jump on the building a lot. Alright, uh, my people are dying. We triggered both bases at the same time, right? The Orion is not down yet. Let's make it happen. Oh, there's a trap in the bag. That's not good. So, I'm gonna go for trap now. I'm not gonna get out of here. I wanna get the salvage as well. Get out of here. Never mind. There's a dropship coming. What? I run. 
Yo, we are out of here. That's that's a golden thing. I need to check if that's doing something now. Alright. Let's take it. I don't know if it's doing something. Looks like what we came for. Is that a thing that we just take for the mission? Didn't look like it. Hey, mister. I'm gonna take that arm so it's one LRM less on the board. And maybe I attracted a bit more fire. Ooh, boy. I mean, we're gonna win this. But it comes with a cost. We have had a lot good swarmed here. Wow. I mean, it's cool. It's heavy, though. It was way too easy where we were. Can we please go back? This area is not good for us. Hmm. All right. Let's see. That was crazy. That was so, so crazy. Uh, let's see. We got a bit of money. We're gonna take the champion with us because it gives us money. Right? Right. Good. And an AC-10. That's fair. I really want that Orion, but it's not possible. So we take another champion. Holy moly. Happy New Year, Commander! Alright, so, 3028 looks like the big year for the company. Remember that Arden Sortex said he is eyeing us for a potential long-term contract with the Federated Sons. Long-term employment contracts with the Great Houses are often the most lucrative contracts as a mercenary, uh, a mercenary can secure. Yeah, but the Great Houses demand a lot from their sponsored mercenaries, so we need to be ready by the time they come for us. Although Colonel Sortek did not provide us with any specific timetable for when an offer will come through, but it's been my experience that these offers tend to be uh, offered towards the tail end of the first quarter of the year. Ah, yeah, okay. So we should have around three months left to prepare our forces for anything. Colonel Sortek mentioned that he wanted to see 10 operational battle mags and enough pilots to field two lances. We should do our best to ensure that we have trained up the talent and built up solid enough force to meet those expectations. Due to regulations by the Mercenary Review Board, these offers will always allow us a review period of six months from the time the contract is offered. So while we should be do our best to prepare ourselves before Colonel Sortek presents us with the contract, just know that we will have a wee bit of extra time to prepare ourselves should we feel the need cool are we gonna do that now i don't think we're gonna play any more contracts on this planet right no right so here we go let's get out of here we're gonna go to is it lee again i think it might be lee again because lee is where we have repaired a lot of times already so the mech takes noah's already they're like oh my god it's those guys again oh guys it's time for overtime today oh let's go Let's see what we lost here. And I think it makes a lot of sense getting every mech to its best combat capacity right now. As in build. I don't want to upgrade them yet. I don't know. So, quick draw. Didn't lose that much. Didn't lose that much. Yeah, got completely destroyed. But it's running again. Alrighty. So, 10 battle mechs, you say. We have 11? I don't know if 10 is like a specific request here or if that's just a suggestion. I guess we're gonna build... No, wait a second. We are here and maybe we want to pick up something. This grasshopper is sadly bad. I'm not gonna pick up a 5H. The Ludege is also not good. Not in my books. And that AMS is maybe helpful. But what can you do with that? Has two energy hard points and what four small missile hard points? We can make it a brawly brawler. I don't like the beagle, honestly. I mean, we can do something with the trap that we are doing right now with our Kintaro. Similar things. It doesn't even have heat sinks installed. No, not at all. Twelve million for a mech like that? I'm not gonna invest that. No. Nope. No pilots for hire. What's going on here? It's really hard to get some people. Hmm. Okay. I guess we just do the repairs. <laughs> this mag, eh. This mag is just... Ugh. What about we lower the... Lower the rating of the autocannon? Give it a 5. Give it a 2, maybe. Do we keep the SRM? That's the question I have here. So what if we do something like this? Auto cannon 5 burst fire. Max armor. I can't keep everything. It's 
Four small lasers. This would be auto cannon five ammo. One and a half. Ish. I want to try to squeeze in some kind of, some kind of uh, heat sinking, some cooling. I know I have good SRM sixes, but I think a four is good enough for this. Hear me out. Maybe we can make something happen with this. Maybe we are onto something. I like this idea. Look at this. So we got max armor. That's good. Right? I don't think we need all the leg armor, so we can go to 40 something, like 45 ish. Drop that down dramatically to like 28 each. All right, that gives us three tons. And the three tons that we have are going to be single heat sinks. So just lowering the, the, the weapon sizes a little bit. And we have a build. The small lasers still deal good damage. We have an SRM4 for some burst. We have an autocannon 5 for some long range burst fire. It doesn't crack tanks instantly, but it's really good against flyers. I'll build it like that. Let's see. It's a mech that is possibly doing something. Anyway, Cantina available. I don't know. Let's go here. Let's see if there's something to find, if there's something to pick up. I'm still looking for the, the big shiny mech that is presenting itself right in front of me now. And then I'm saying to, Hello, welcome to my lands. It is you that I have waited for the whole time. Would you go out on a date with me, please? That's okay. That is okay. The 4D, by the way, is also very okay. <laughs> I like that. Imagine that. Um, this is too much. This is too much uh, Too much heat for everything. Uh, and the armor is not optimal. But if we take the PPCs out and make it medium lasers, we have to... Well, let's say, take the large lasers out, make it medium lasers. We'd say four tons. Three tons per, right? Large lasers, four, five? Five tons. God, I cannot remember. It's five tons. Um... We'd save a bit of weight that we can invest into armor and more heat sinking, and we have a double PPC, double medium laser sniper. The rate of fire is garbage. Period. I'm gonna take a cataphract. I like this as a brawler. As some big block of metal. That we can put on the front line. I'm also gonna pi hire another pilot. Alright guys, we are ready. We're gonna quickly outfit our cat and then we are good to go. This large laser is gonna go. This SRM is gonna... It's gonna be an SRM-6 and a good one on top of that. So here we go. This auto cannon is gonna be a better one. I'll take this. Then medium lasers here. Ah, oh, never mind. So it's gonna be three mediums. It's gonna be an auto cannon 10 and SRM-6. It's a little bit all over the place. It is a franken mech after all. But I think it's good. Yeah, let's play it like that. Guys, we have a cataphrag. That's a lot of armor on the board, and that's what I need for my lands right now. Cool. Leg armor is fine. Head armor. Head armor is garbage. Go for maximum head armor on cataphrags because the hitbox is huge. 44? 45? 46. Yes. Bunch of single heat sinks. We got SRM ammo. We currently have no. Let me see. We have no auto cannon ammo. So that's the thing we need to change. One, two, rest is cooling. We're good to go. This is a very solid mech. It's not great. It's not optimal, but it's good enough to actually field. I like it. We got a cataphract. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Haven't had a cataphract in any playthrough, I think. So we're gonna get the. Where is it? This one here. Fly to everybody. And we're combat ready. Alright. So, now we just need to pass some time, technically. Or, we can actually give our cataphract a little bit of a test run. And I want to do that. Let's go here. Because there is another... There's a black market. Because 
you know, we can find something on the black market, that's gonna be good. But I also want to play a demolition mission, which is usually a bit easier, since uh, we can just go in, destroy everything and get out again. So the timing is basically based on our own aggression. Let's see what's on the black market. Rifle, cap, ooh, four large cam laser tier three? I like that. Gonna buy all of them. Small cam lasers, I don't care. So, cam laser ammo is a thing that we need. I'm gonna buy everything here. Sure, why not? With, with the large cam lasers, we can actually think about bringing them to the rifleman. Can only run two of them. I think I want four of them at the same time, so I need something like a black knight. All the other riflemen that we had before, that thing with four large cams would be really good. Four large cam laser tier three on a single rifleman. Problem is we would lose the arms and we would lose the lasers and then stocking back up on large cam lasers will be a hassle. Uh, it's a problem. No, I'm not gonna take it. Jagamek S, not the best, but okay. Got another one of those. Three Ns here. No, it's fine. So, I want... Where is it? I want to play a contract. Demolition 50. Let's do it. Get some salvage, get some money. That's a great payout. Actually, playing Demolition means we're going to take at least one airstrike. Makes the things faster. And I want to play the Cataphract. And I want this Kintaro to be my Thunderbolt. Oh, did we, did we lose somebody? Somebody died, huh? It's unfortunate. We can turn up on this guy. Get the waifu man in. It's not bad. I'm not against it. It's a high ballistic skill here, so it's gonna be you. And the quick draw. I think we actually need the armor. Let's go in with everybody. Our heaviest mech. Let's see how this uh, plays out. Cataphract. Cataphracts have Attention. one problem. Prepare They're chonky. And they have very low arms, which means that getting your guns on point and peeking over hills is not gonna be easy. So you usually have to expose the whole mech in order to get all of your weapons to, uh, aimed towards your enemies. So, difficult. All systems nominal. Destroying the Mark's industrial infrastructure will destabilize the opposition's grip on this region. Something our benefactors are willing to spend a great deal of sea bills to see done. Airstrike support has been granted. Let's get out of here. Approach the target area to call them in. I think I got all my weapon groups. Here we go. Kapow. Oh, I love it. I'm already doing that. Target acquired. Beautiful. Combat vehicle rolling nice. In. Be sure to take it apart. Okay, okay, okay. So this is working. Uh, airstrike is also ready. Let's drop it right oh, here down. and see what it does. One, one. This is Sierra two, one. Roger that. I, I want to really right see. Now. Okay, Sierra that's two, uh, that's one, an Igor. Oh god, this is horrible. Depleted. That is horrible. Oh my god, this whole radio okay. thing. Why? Are hurt, Why are you doing this? The sound design of it is so bad. Okay, 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 okay. That's a party sound. Now let's get close and demolish things. Oh yeah, I should use my auto cannon here. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you. We are already down to 50%. Oh my destroy. god, that's beautiful. That airstrike actually did a good job. A very good job. Yeah. Oh, mechs are coming in now. Yeah, I want the rifleman down. I want to see what we can do against them. I think that SRM is actually quite good here. You've managed to demolish about half of, the half of it is down. Crack on, Commander. Yeah, this is a brawler. I'm taking on heavy fire. This like is fire. really good. So we need to cool down a bit in order to not die. And what am I doing now? I'm gonna shoot everything. Yeah, I should probably just walk through things and just be done with it. Oh, this is not doable. What? Alright. Uh, I, I don't have enough mobility to get up there. So, let's help out the friends a bit. Here we go! Hello, Mr. Centurion! 
You didn't think that I would be here? That's what I thought. You're gonna die, buddy. A lot of tanks around us. I don't like this. Good kill, Commander. That mech is going critical. Oh, it's going critical? Let's get out of here. So, what do we have here, huh? Lots of tankos. And I think, you know what, we're gonna stay outside of this and just run through these things. They seem to explode, but they don't really deal damage, so that's fine. And we can run through those buildings easily. That's a lot of weight. The primary generator has been destroyed. Good. Destroyed. Another one? Target wow, destroyed. demolishers? You've gotta be kidding me. I'm actually happy that we got our cataphract here. Destroyed. This thing is good. This area is on his last legs, Commander. In a combat scenario Control like this, I love to have the fract. Uh, champion first. Here I am. Punch it. What? Yeah. <laughs> it is so good. I should not lose my arms, though. There are weapons in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm actually a little bit too overzealous. I should really get shooting more and punching less. Should I leave it for my friends? I should leave it to my friends to engage those guys. You know what? I'm gonna chill. And we're gonna destroy some buildings, okay? Is that 1% per shot? Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like it. I lost my short range missile. Not happy about that, but hey, whatever. We had fun. This is all about which button to press to get your joy. And I pressed a lot of mouse button 3. Getting shot in the back is not nice. We are on your target, Commander. Yeah, get him. Please. 9%. I think really this is the best way to get it done. Just getting those big buildings down. Again, each panel seems to be 1% of the base right now. No, it's not moving anymore. Ammo low. Okay. That kill was mine. Four percent. Physics is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Target is done. Three percent. Come on, two percent. They're still shooting me. Those bastards. Yeah, I'm out of here. Ooh, AC5s on the party son. I'm running. This is where I'm gonna get out of here. Mission complete, Commander. Yeah. I expect our employer to be very satisfied with this result. Yep. Head to the Eva point. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh shit. That was a lot. Alrighty. You're clear to board we did it. Number one. Welcome back. I like the fract. I gotta say, I'm a fan. That thing can actually take a beating. It can punch out. Not only with the fists, but also with the weapons it has. Or had before. But still, I love that thing. It's pretty good. So why did I sleep on cataphracts so often? Who knows? Maybe I had better options. But then again, they are the low mounts that are a problem. It's okay. So. Here we go. Not taking our rifle man. I'll take the Vulcan. I'll take an AC-10. Yeah, it's okay. I also take the PPC, I think. Cool. Uh, these are some random missions that we're just gonna take. But there's that. The priority mission. We're gonna check it out. Alright. Commander, on behalf of First uh, Prince Hans Davion, the Federated Commonwealth wishes to extend to you an offer for a two-year independent commission with the armed forces of the Federated Commonwealth. Over the years, one of our regimental combat teams have suffered significant losses at the hands of Draconis Combine, which have left the unit's veterans suffering from exhaustion and low morale. A few years ago, the AFFS sought to inject new blood into the unit, promoting up a promising young officer from the Davion Assault Guards, who has since been working at replenishing the ranks of the RCT, but with the replacement troops have been 
But with the replacement troops being fairly green and the veterans demoralized and drained, it is High Command's belief that we need an additional injection of skilled talent to give some stability into the unit while they work on rebuilding their lost ranks. Should you accept the commission, you will be put under a two-year exclusive contract under the direct command of the Marshal of the Armed Force of the Federated Sons. You will still be entitled to your posted MRB rates with full combat bonus should the need arise. The need is always there. Contact us as soon as these uh, terms are agreeable. If you do not, if we do not hear from you by the time our contracts open up, we will need to move on to someone else. We hope to hear from you soon. Sure, I will do that. Thank you very much. But I also want to repair my Thunderbolt and my Cataphract. All right, still in good shape. Okie dokie. We also got that Vulcan, which I'm going to keep for the moment, I think. I don't know. All right, cool, guys. We're here. We can depart now. Welcome to the Second Cruises Lancers. Thank you for answering the call, Commander. I am Marshal Jackson Devian of the Cruises Lancers, Second Battalion. You might know us better as the Kestrel Lancers. Colonel Sortek has informed me that you will be serving out your contract as an independent battle mech detachment under my command. Why, we are glad to have you aboard. We need all the help we, we can get. All right. I'll be honest with you, Commander. The Castro Lancers have seen better days. My predecessor was posted on the border with the Draconis combined and s suffered heavy losses at the hands of House Curator's raids during the Third Succession War. While on paper we may still officially exist as a full battalion of the Cruces Lancers, the reality is that the First Prince Davian is weighing our deactivation uh, due to our current numbers. Wow. We've been aggressively recruiting to fix this, but I need experienced soldiers to build up a reliable core that I uh, can count on to get the job done and train our fresh talent. After seeing your performance up close during the Galahad War Games, I am confident that your unit is exactly what the Castro Lancers need at the moment. Although you have been contracted to us as a mercenary, officially you will be added to the Castro Lancers roster as a special operations battle mech company under my command. We want to preserve an appearance of strength to our enemies while our rebuilding is underway. Take your time to prepare your battle mechs and gear, then head to your nearest jump point. The AFFS will charter a command circuit to bring you to the Cruises Lancer's home base on Myra. Be prepared for anything, Commander. With Hans Davian's upcoming wedding with Militia Steiner, the AFFS has been, out, uh, has been put to high alert. We will provide you with a full briefing once you get to Myra. Lancers, we have been called to war. Operation Rat is a go. Our objective? To cripple the Confederation's military-industrial complex, to bloody their most fanatic battle mech regiments, and to take their territory for our own, thus securing our borders for our newfound alliance with House Steiner. Steiner. To do this, all eight of the Crucis Lancer RCTs have been called upon to take one system, the most vital planet targeted by the Federated Sons, the fortress world of Tikhonov. Defended by numerous battle mech regiments, a vast network of man-made fortifications, and one of the most hardened planetary militias of the entire inner sphere. For over 600 years, Tikhonov has stood as an indomitable Bastille, repelling all who dare to challenge its gauntlet of defenses. <laughs> all right. But the planet itself is a prize like no other. A fully self-sufficient world virtually untouched by the chaos of the succession wars. All right. Heavily industrialized with an astronomical abundance of natural ore and mineral mining that fuels a booming planetary economy and acts as the foundation for Tikhonov's true prize, battle mech factories. Responsible for the manufacturing of large portions of the Capellan Confederation's heavy battle mech forces and considered to be the lifeblood to the CCAF's war machine. Taking Tikhonov and its mech factories from the Confederation will rob them of one of their military's most vital resources and add it to our own. But the defenders of Tikhonov are among the most fanatical supporters of the Capellan state, many of them lifelong residents of the region. Expect them to fight with unparalleled levels of ferocity to defend their homeworld. First Prince Hans Davian has personally charged the Crucis Lancers with this mission to break the unbreakable fortress world and claim its mech factories in the name of the Federated Sons. And as God is our witness, we will not misplace the faith that he has put into all of us. We will bend Tikhonov and any other Capellan world that stands in our way to our will.
Alrighty then. I guess Tikhonov it is. To Tikhonov and beyond. So it is, as it always is, it's wartime. As one guy with a golden hat and the other guy with a golden hat and the guy with the golden hat wants the stuff from the other guy with the golden hat and now they are putting their people with the metallic helmets and put them to war. All right, that's pretty good. I would say this is exactly where we're going to continue the next time we see each other. I really appreciated the cutscene. That was really cool. That adds some flavor to it. It's not just a wall of text that you have to read down now. It's actually a something. More of that, please. Thank you very much. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the video for today, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can support me on Patreon if you like and have a bit of spare money. The link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.